Hey everybody. So this next video is going to be another short one and it's going to be centered around the refractory period. Again, this is something we discussed earlier in chapter nine with the muscles. However, I wanted to bring it up again. So the refractory period is a really important time within the, the stimulus of a cell. And with that said, this is a short time following the nerve impulse. So during this time, we cannot see an additional impulse being triggered. So in other words, we just activated that cell. We just sent it an impulse. This is that little bit of time that the cell needs in order to recuperate and to make sure that it is ready for an additional signal. So in this time, we cannot add an additional stimulus to this. So there are a couple of types of refractory periods. We have the absolute refractory period, in which case an axon is changing its sodium permeability, and therefore, no matter what you do, it cannot be stimulated again. However, relative refractory period is when the membrane is trying to reestablish its original resting membrane potential from that hyperpolarization stage where it goes a little bit too depolarized. And during this time, a threshold stimulus with a very high intensity may trigger an impulse. So in this case, there is still a chance for an impulse to be taken. So again, we have two kinds of refractory period. Absolute means it's absolutely no chance we're going to be able to have a stimulus during this brief period of time. Relative refractory period, if the stimulus is strong enough or intense enough, then we may be able to trigger another impulse immediately following uh, an impulse. If you have any questions on the refractory period, please let me know.